When I think about great TV moments during the late 70s, the addition of Cheryl Ladd on Charlie's Angels was a pretty darn big one. And Cheryl, already a seasoned television veteran, made the very most of her moment. With all that said, there came a point while making the show where Cheryl had had just about enough of the non-stop parade of bikinis that the wardrobe department would continually have her wear. More on that in just a moment, but first let me introduce myself. Hey folks, my name's Dave Sundstrom. I like to think of myself as something of a pop culture historian. Simply put, I love talking about music, movies, and mostly TV from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. So with that said, let's get rolling. The premise behind Cheryl's arrival and then megastar Farrah Fawcett Major's departure was that Cheryl played Chris Monroe, Jill Monroe's little sister. Every bit as smart, feisty, and beautiful as Big Sis, Cheryl did such a great job on this show that many folks didn't seem to care that the biggest star was no longer solving mysteries for Charles Townsend on a weekly basis. The transition was a pretty darn smooth one because, as I mentioned previously, Cheryl was already a showbiz veteran. However, like I said earlier, by the time the cast and crew started filming what would be episodes for season 3, Cheryl was getting a bit weary of wearing a bikini on the show every single week. As a result, one evening when Cheryl was able to informally speak with the show's producer, Aaron Spelling, she mentioned to him that while she was forever grateful for the opportunity to be in such a popular TV program, she would really enjoy filming an episode or two in its entirety without slipping on a bikini. Chuckling a bit, Spelling acknowledged that the amount of swimsuit scenes had become a bit gratuitous and he told her he would look into it. However, as shooting for the season continued, shots of Chris Monroe in a bikini seemed to become even more frequent. Cheryl knew that she needed to send a message to Aaron, something to remind him. She just wasn't sure how she could do it in a way that got her message across, and yet didn't seem like another star throwing a tantrum. And then it hit her. So the next time she was asked to put on a bikini, Cheryl put on the absolute tiniest thing she could find. This wasn't the one the wardrobe department wanted her to wear, but nevertheless, Cheryl insisted. If you've ever watched this particular scene on TV, it's from season three's third episode titled Angels on High. You will notice that when Chris is speaking to that fella over by the table, the camera zooms in and focuses on her face. This is not how the scene was originally storyboarded. But because of Cheryl's wardrobe decision, it was what was required so that the episode could actually air on network television here in the U.S. After the scene was filmed, Spelling was made aware of Cheryl's wardrobe decision. And from what I understand, he was more amused than angry and communicated to the creative team that it was okay to cover up Cheryl a bit more. Charlie's Angels ran for a total of five seasons, and because of her gutsy game day wardrobe decision, the second half of the show's run was even more fun and fulfilling for Cheryl Ladd. Sure, she would still be asked from time to time to slip on a swimsuit, but she noticed a change, and she was thankful to Aaron Spelling for finally coming to her aid. So what is Cheryl up to these days? Well, I'm happy to report that Cheryl has found lasting love with music producer Brian Russell, who she has been married to since 1981. From everything that I can tell while doing my research, they are a truly happy couple who love to spend time together doing an amazing variety of different things, and they both believe in getting involved in causes that they are passionate about. One of those causes has been the prevention of child abuse. Cheryl has aligned herself with Child Help, whose programs and services help abuse children from any situation and let them experience the life they deserve, one filled with love one filled with hope. The goal of this organization is a simple one. Put these children in an environment where they can feel compassion and kindness. One of the things that Brian and Cheryl do together is golf. Over the years, Cheryl has become an avid golfer who regularly plays on the Celebrity Pro-Am circuit. In fact, she is one of the most sought after players worldwide and for over 20 years, Cheryl has partnered with many of the world's best golfers from the PGA and LPGA tours. One of the highlights of Cheryl's golfing experiences was the opportunity to play alongside the great Arnold Palmer. Wow. I've got to say I'm extremely jealous of that one. Nicely done, Cheryl. Nicely done. A while back, TV Land honored Charlie's Angels with their famed Pop Culture Award. Other recipients of this award over the years have been Donnie Marie Osmond, Sid and Marty Croft, Pee Wee Herman, as well as the cast from the original Star Trek television series. 
Anyone remember those old Battle of the Network Stars specials? Here's a picture of Cheryl participating in one of those. I'm not sure which event this was, however. Looks like some sort of track and field thing. I'll post a link to another video of mine about those specials. I still remember when Gabe Kaplan kicked Robert Conrad's butt in a foot race to win the whole thing one year. Man, that thing was so much fun. Anyway, are you a fan of Cheryl Ladd, and do you have a favorite memory? Let me know in the comments section, and while you're at it, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up, and what the heck, why not consider subscribing to the channel? I talk about music, movies, and mostly television from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.